uh, Master Geo here. So, for a long time, I've been playing around with the idea of showing off my DVD and Blu-ray collection. I've amassed a huge amount of films, because movies are my love and passion, especially horror films. Um, I thought it'd be kind of cool to share it with you guys. It's going to be a multi-part series, because I have way too many movies, and I'm not sure I could, or should, cover them all in one video. Let's say I shouldn't. So, let's go with the first... Uh, Alright, so I'm going to start here. This is sort of an odds and ends section where I have a couple of box sets and TV shows. Um, you can see I have the Indiana Jones trilogy. It's a trilogy. There isn't a fourth movie because that movie sucked balls. I've only been able to upgrade the first one, which is actually my favorite, Raiders of the Lost Ark, which was recent, actually, thanks to a Black Friday sale. I do plan to get the other two, and again, there is no fourth movie. Um, I used to be pretty big into Alias, but I have to say that season, that last season, that pretty much confirmed me that I don't need to own the rest of the series. Um, yeah, here's my Amityville collection. Um, you'll see that I have the uh, first three box set that uh, MGM put out. I do not have the, those on Blu-ray. Um, not sure I ever really need to upgrade it. The first one's alright. The second one's really my favorite, and the third one is a piece of fucking shit. Um, I do have, um, uh, it's about time. That one's autographed by the lovely Megan Ward, who is an absolute sweetheart. Um... I really love having her autograph, and I really like having that one signed, because I think it's one of the cooler sequels in the franchise. Um, I recently got the remake, on, upgraded it to Blu-ray. I should note that usually when I upgrade something to Blu-ray, I get rid of the DVD, because it's taking up space, unless it's autographed, or otherwise, there's another reason I keep it, and I'll let you know when those come up. Um, yeah, so, I basically own all the Amityvilles I like. If I don't own it, it's because it's either an Amityville I never saw, or because it's a piece of shit. Uh, I, yeah, I have two of the Arrow seasons. Um, I have to say that that show does not hold up to repeated viewing, so I will not be adding any more Arrows to my collection. Sorry. Art of the Devil, uh, Battlestar Galactica, one of the few shows I own every season of. I really believe it to be one of the greatest sci-fi shows of all time. Actually, let's go back there, and I'll show you that I've got a couple of autographs on season one of Battlestar Galactica. Kind of sucks that they don't do more shows, the people from Battlestar, I mean, because I would love to get more autographs. But I have a couple here. Okay, let's move on. Um, big H.G. Lewis fan. Uh, this is actually one of my oldest box sets. Um, I got it around the time he was doing, I believe it was a Fangoria Weekend of Horrors. I was hoping to get it signed, but he wasn't signing at that one. I would meet him years later, uh, and he signed uh, Gorgor Girls, which I have on Blu-ray, which you'll see much, much, much later on in this series. We get to Buffy. I don't have a complete Buffy series, but I have a couple of the seasons, and um, the first one I actually have it autographed by um, two people. Uh, the lady who played Jenny Callender and the lady who played uh, Buffy's mom. Both were very nice. Uh, again, I uh, really wish more Buffy people did conventions. Uh, Season 5, which is my favorite season, Buffy, also has autographs, um, including Tara, played by Amber Benson, of course. Um, I met Amber, actually, at a comic book shop. He was, she was doing a signing there of her book. And um, I also have Glory's autograph. Uh, Glory is my all-time favorite villain, so meeting her was like... Fucking beyond awesome. And uh, Harmony sign signed the back of it. So, I that was the last actual uh, Buffy autograph I ever got. Um, we move down here. You can see I've got the Clint Eastwood and Dirty Harry box set. Um, 
Kind of wish I had bought this when I owned Blu-ray, but I love this box set. I'm not going to be upgrading it because it, I don't want to get rid of it. It's got so much cool stuff, and it cost me a pretty penny, too, back when I bought it. Probably costs a prettier penny now, I guess. Uh, Tokyo Shock triple uh, feature. Uh, Transformers, the only uh, one of the only other TV shows, if not in fact the only other TV show that I own every season of. I am a huge fan of the Transformers Gen 1. I, uh, I'm so happy to own these because I can watch these over and over again. Transformers always gets me in a good mood. Um, you'll see that I actually did keep my Transformers, the movie, DVD, mostly because of the toy commercials, which are not on the phenomenal Blu-ray release by Shout Factory. Otherwise, if it wasn't for that, I'm, the, I would have gotten rid of the DVD, but, um, that's why I kept it. The, uh... Bayformers, the first one's the only one that's good. The other ones suck big dick and swallow. Uh, True Blood, uh, I never got to finish completing my uh, True Blood collection. Um, I'm missing uh, one of the seasons, uh, the third and the last season. It's fine. Uh, the last season was hit or miss anyway. Terrible, terrible last episode. But I used to be a huge True Blood fan, and, you know... Um, really into the show. Uh, the first season, I actually have it autographed by Kristen Baker. Um, it's one of my favorite autographs. She was fucking awesome to me. Um, each one's autographed... Each of the first three seasons that I own uh, is autographed by a different lovely lady. Let's see. Um... This was the last uh, Troop Blood I got autographed. It was at a Monster Mania. I, part five, uh, sorry, Season 5 does not have any autographs. Another TV show that I have complete of is Veronica Mars. I was a huge Veronica Mars fan. Still am. Uh, pretty much obsessed with their show. Uh, Kristen Bell. Um, so I own all three seasons on DVD. And I own the uh, movie, which I adore on Blu-ray. And Watchmen. And uh, that completes this section. So let us move on. So, let's end with the letter A, um, which I start with ABCs of Death 2. I, I saw ABCs Death 1, don't own it, sorry. Um, above the Law, I have a couple of Seagal movies, we'll keep running into them. Absurd, which I, uh, recent, which I picked up not too long ago, loved it. Loved Joe D'Amato, I'm, not every movie he's ever made is great, but hey. He's, uh, his films are filled with gore and sleaze. It's pretty much up my alley. ACDC, one of my favorite bands. We'll keep moving. Yet, you'll notice that I only own the first two Aliens. Mostly because I hate Alien 3. I wouldn't mind only, wouldn't mind only Alien Resurrection, but... Aliens, by the way, is, one of, is my second favorite movie of all time. I absolutely love and worship that film. It is the perfect mix of horror, science fiction, and action, that is the rare perfect movie, the rare sequel that blows its original away. Can somebody please release Alligator on Blu-ray? Just saying. Great film. Grew up with it. Um, well, Cheers Must Die. I say that's a very underrated film. Speaking of underrated films, how fucking underrated is Alone With Her? You probably haven't even heard of it, but it's a great found footage film. This coming from somebody who genuinely uh, hates found footage movies. Plus, got Claudia Talancon, who is fucking hot as fuck. We get to one of my autographed Blu-rays right here, American Mary, signed by the always awesome and beautiful Saskia twins. Um, uh, this was at a this was at when they were at Comic Con here in New York. Yeah, New York Comic Con. Um, it's one of my favorite autographs. They're fucking awesome. I, uh, you know, uh, I'm not just biased to them because uh, they're because I'm they're friends of mine or anything of the sort. They genuinely rule. Um, I think I've interviewed them more than anybody else. Ah, uh, here you go. A rare autograph in that. My DVD of American Werewolf in London is autographed by John Landis himself. This happened at a Fangoria Weekend of Horrors. Um, I don't think he does convention, so it's pretty fucking cool to have that. Um, let's keep going down. Yeah, Anthropopagus. You know, I have to say, the second time I saw this, I liked it more than the first time. 
still don't think it's a great film, but it's you know, pretty decently entertaining. April Fool's Day is actually the opposite. The first time I saw it, I liked it a lot more. As I got older, though, I I was kind of stupid. I still don't like the ending, but eh, it's a decent little addition to the collection. Aqua Teen Hunger Force is probably one of my go-tos when I'm feeling shitty. Uh, it, it always brings a smile to my face. It's it's one of my favorite, uh, I guess, like therapeutic shows, you'll call it. Um, yeah, I'm quite a big fan of Assault on Precinct 13. I have, uh, the remake is actually decent, but the, uh, the John Carpenter film, of course, is classic. Audition, I cannot wait for Arrow to do the Blu-ray release of this. I would love to upgrade my DVD. The, uh, All Night Long collection, uh, decent little sleazy Japanese splatter series. It's okay. So we're going to end here with the letter, with the last couple of letter A's, which extended into the uh, next tower. Um, Austin Powers, which is the rare comedies I own. You will notice that I have very few comedies. I don't like comedies. Sorry to say that, but yeah, sorry. Sorry, not sorry, actually. Um, Avengers. I have to say, like, the first Avengers, I watched it so many times, I kind of got tired of it. Yeah, I think I watched it too many times. Uh, Infinity War, which is, I think, one of the best movies of last year. And uh, that's where we'll end. When I next uh, film one of these, we'll lead to the letter B. Alright, till then. Bye!